Hello everyone. Welcome to the October Universal Yums box. The title kind of gives away its location, but... Kind of. Kind of. So subtly. So subtly. But, as you can see, it is from... Da -da -da -da, Russia. The homeland, as the sticker stated, of Tetris. Of Tetris. Um, Tetris's name, if you don't know, comes from two words, uh, tetrahedron and tennis, the creator's favorite sport. I did not know oh, that. Tetrahedron, because every piece is made up of four blocks. Interesting. Tetra, well, I don't know if it's tetrahedron, it's tetra of something or another, because uh, each, each piece is four blocks. The more you know. <coughs> Okay, I promise. So for this one, we have all the all the stuff laid out in front of us, mm -hmm. and very little is English. Yes. So we are yes. going to have to use our, our lovely book um, to read yeah. what it is. We're going to take it. We're going to go in order. Uh, we're gonna this try to is go probably going to be the first time ever we've done it in order. So we will see. We will see. Okay, what are we doing first? The first thing is meat, jelly, and horseradish rye breadsticks. That sounds disgusting. Is it this one? Sounds, yes, it is that one. It and sounds again, gross. We both grade it on a scale of 1 to 10. Um, usually the first one tends to float around the middle unless it's really terrible or really great. Oh god, it smells like a bouillon cube. Mm. I'm excited. Ooh, it's like a crisp. Like a crisp thing. Yeah. Like you find in Chex Mix or Ready? something. Ready? Mm -hmm. Mmm. Wow. That's good. Um. Woo. It's very strong. The horseradish. Ooh, that's good. That is good. It's 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 just like it's made up of my favorite part of the uh, Chex Mix. Of the Chex Mix mix, which is uh. The rye chips, so it worked out well. It's very good. Their name is gross. Her name is super gross. It's good. I'm gonna have to give that a seven. Mm, yeah. I think that's one of the first savory ones that I've ever gone above, like a six. Delightful. It's good. Next is called Tula oh, what's this? Prianic, which is a gingerbread with condensed milk and honey. Oh, I forgot to show the picture of the last one. This you is did. the last one. Rude. And by the way, all of these snacks, as I understand it, can be purchased from universalyums.com individually. Uh, if you so desire to continue to gather these snacks. Okay. Oh, it's hard. Not really. It's like a, it's got a weird... Creamishness in the center. You go first. Okay. It's like a bread. Hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um. Hmm. Initial assessment. You need milk or water or something with it because it is very, very dry. This is pretty good. It's sweet enough to be good. Mm-hmm. But not too sweet, which I think is, is delightful. Um, hmm. Looks great. I quite enjoy that. I want to say an eight. Eight for you. I really enjoy that one. I'm going to stick with a seven. This is an account of it. Um, Dryness. Dryness. Yeah. Yeah. I can Next. fix with water. Mm-hmm. Ah! These things look like Starburst at first glance. <laughs> the package is reminiscent, uh, even though it's kind of too small. This is a uh, Red October Crepiche, which is soft toffee with peanuts. I don't care for peanuts. No. In general, I don't, but I'm willing to... Do anything for you guys. 
Oh, it's like, oh, it, it, it's breakaway. Okay. Yeah, it's super soft. Oh, it's like cubes. Look, it's like little oh, cubes. Oh, cool. Oh, well, you have three cubes. Oh, that's because we're doing it that way. Yeah, I'll just do a single Ooh. cube. That's fine. I have a feeling it's going to be real high. But... I was not. Mmm, whoa. Oh, no. Oh, it had a weird initial taste. Um, you okay? Oh, yeah. So far, out of three out of the tw 20 snacks, mm -hmm. Russia is my favorite so far. Really? So far. Wow. I'm really liking those. Nothing. You know, it might have a gross name. Nothing has been particularly heinous. You want this ice cube? I had two. Okay. I'll save it for later. Okay, good. Because I'm sure I'm going to have something that's heinous. What did you read it? Mm, that was a nine. Really? Okay. It was I'm very good. Um, Russia has some good eight. food. I'm giving it an eight. The high score, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very good. One thing <laughs> of important note is that you can already kind of feel it in my, my back teeth. It's very sweet. Mm -hmm. um, well, it's toffee. And, and if you have that sort of sensitivity, yeah, it, that's can, true. It, it, it can be painful to that's your very mouth. True. Yeah. I'm excited. Yes. The next thing we have on our list is black currant zephyr, mm. which is chocolate covered black currant marshmallow. Ooh. Which sounds delightful. Is that, this one? that is that one. I think we have two. We do, but we're going to share one. Well, of course. They open easily, which is nice. Don't have to bust out the scissors. Ooh, it's like a, it's like a moon pie. It is. This must be Russia's minus the version top. of the. It looks like a seashell. Oh, neat. See. You get first dibs on this. I one, do. Right? Yep. I bet it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's tart in the middle. Ooh. Hmm. In the best way. Um, wow. Okay. This is good. This is, it's our first 10. Or is it going to stay 9? It's going to stay 9. I will agree with a 9 on this one. Um, mm. of also curious. You want another bite? Yes, of course. I'll give you some more. Um, I thought it was going to have a wafer in it. It's just chocolate and marshmallow. That's all it is. That's it. So, um, wow. Mm. The tart is really hot. All of this is delightful so far. We're going with uh, the Owen Wilson. Wow. Wow. I'm sorry. I say wow a lot. You can make a drinking <laughs> game out of it if you want to. <laughs> every, every, every time I say wow, I say it a lot. All right. He does, even off camera. Whoopsie. All right, what's next? Next are shashlik potato chips, which are shish kebab flavored potato chips. I don't know how they're going to pull that off. It does say in English it's snack time. <laughs> it says it right there. <laughs> uh, that's great. <clears throat> Gross. Uh, chocolatey black currant has to stick with you. Mm. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Oh, they're the little. Ooh, I love this kind of chip. They you make like the. They I make those two of them. The awesome. like fluffy chips. Yes. Um, which are. I don't know why we don't make them like that here. Boo. I wonder why. Ready? Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. They don't have much flavor to me. Mm. That's part of what makes them good. Because it's not overpowering in terms of its flavor. Mm. It's light. I love that airiness. Mm, airy? Mm. Mm. I'm going to have to go. I, okay, so I would definitely snack on these. For sure. But they're not my favorite. And they're a little gritty at the end. Like a six, you go six. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Not bad. Not bad. Um, it's not my favorite. 
if they had just a little bit more of the shish kebab flavor to them, I think that it would be a much higher score. Yeah. Uh, but they're, I don't like the grittiness at the end. Yeah. Cool. All right. Next, we have Krofka Fairy Tale Roll Cake, which is a chocolate dipped baked milk cake. I'm a little curious. Wait. Nope, sorry. As to, I'm a little curious as to what they mean by baked milk, but I suppose we'll see. Maybe they mean cream? <laughs> I sure hope so. Like a marshmallow with cream. Does it smell good? It smells like it's Weird. got... Weird. It, honestly, it smells like it has alcohol in it. It does. Oh, it's shaped like a... Like a cinnamon roll. Yeah, from the first dips. Yeah. Oh, that smells like vodka. That smells like straight up. It vodka. does. Oh, hang on. Okay. All yep, right. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> mm. It it does taste like it's been like soaked in it. It's obviously it's not alcoholic, but it tastes like it, it would go well with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now that is moist cake. It is. Um it's very good. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the opposite end of the spectrum in terms of making you thirsty. Mm hmm uh, Because it is rich. It's very rich. But man, that's good. It's almost a little too rich. Uh, I would call that a little bit better than the shashik, shashlik uh, shish kebab chips. Oh, by far, <clears throat> but yes. But not as good as the toffee, so it's going to be a seven for yes. me. Seven for me, too. It, it's good. It is. Uh, it's kind of like those vodka cakes that you can make. And it like bakes out the alcohol in them. Mm -hmm. you just kinda, but you still have the flavor. You just kind of have that little vodka flavor. It's mm -hmm. very good. Next we have grilled potatoes with shallots, which is a uh, shallot and potato flavored wheat snack, <laughs> which has an That's onion man. It has an onion man. Is it riding a bicycle? Maybe. No, I don't rightly know. What is the title? Yahuku? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yuku? Yuku. Yuku? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. The Russian. Hmm, those smell good. They do. They smell like funyuns. These are going to be very, very seasoned. You can I'm gonna tell. I'm going to eat two. Oh, okay. Because I know that we're going to have two bites. You can tell that. Oh yeah, they're totally super seasoned. They're like they're powdery, <coughs> like residue on the finger powdery. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice texture. Very oniony. Not too salty either, which I like. Yeah. It has. Mm. It's like funyuns minus about. Half of the salt or more. 75% of the salt. Mm. Mm. My dear. That's a nine. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I would agree with that. I think it's the highest score you've ever given to a savory treat. Well, uh, oh yeah, I guess Those yeah. are sweet. That's true. We don't Those are delightful. Like track that from the past, but it's very good. It's no, very good. didn't you give a uh, nine or ten to those uh, jalapeno mm. sour cream puff ball things? Yeah, those were delightful. Uh, Delicious. They were. What's next? Next is oh. the grapefruit chocolate fruit bar, yeah, this one. which is a dark chocolate bar with grapefruit. I'm not fond of grapefruit. Is that me? I don't know. It might be me. I'm going to call it back. Okay. 
Could I? I mean, I can't. We can't really. That's all good. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Oh gosh. Oh Ooh. gosh. Sorry, guys. I might have been a little bit loud. The buzzing of the phone. Okay. So this is the thing that they showcased on their, it is. Uh, on their uh, webpage. This smells like super their dark Facebook chocolate. Page. Boop. Here we go. Ready? Yep. It tastes like I just down cleaning supplies again. Um. Okay. Once you get the grape jelly, the grapefruit jelly out of the way. It's not bad. The chocolate is is really good. Yeah. But the grapefruit. Oh gosh. <laughs> grapefruit is. I don't understand how people can regularly eat it. I'll put it to you that way. Same. Um, it is not for me. So I'm gonna have to give that a four. Yeah. It wasn't horrible, I'm although gonna, my face may have said otherwise. I'm going to say five, uh, because <clears throat> you're right. It, if you like grapefruit, you you'll love, love this. that treat. Um, if you don't love grapefruit like us, it's tolerable. It is tolerable. Despite the fact that it is grapefruit. <clears throat> um, next is... Next up. Next up, salmon and cheese husks, which sounds really gross. Oh. Uh, but basically, it is a salmon and cheese rye breadstick. It's kind of like the other thing we had, but instead of uh, <coughs> meat jelly, I am not excited for this. He loves salmon. salmon. I can't stand it. Oh, it smells like cat treats. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that is hilarious. You didn't take it. Sorry. Rude. Huh. It is. Not as good as the other one of the same brand. Five for you? Mm hmm. Four. Four. I'm going to say um, six. The good thing is, <clears throat> the salmon is not like. It's not overpowering. No, not at all. The weird thing is, is that you can taste the cream cheese immediately and all of the other seasonings. Yes. But you can tell that it's super artificial cream cheese flavoring. Yeah. So and it's kind of one of those where, for a crunchy snack, and that's all that was available, sure, yeah. I'd eat it. The, I would not go straight for uh, this. And that one didn't taste as dry. No. As the other one did. It actually tasted a little stale to me. Like croutons. But stale. Well, that's what. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Yeah. All right. Moving past that. Whew. Krovka baked milk biscuits, baked milk cookies with chocolate glaze. Or, if you read the packaging, baked milk taste with glaze bottom. Oh. <clears throat> They're like, oh. They're like shortbread cookies with chocolate Kapo bottoms. Kapopka, Kapop, Krovka. Yeah. Oh, that's a good little, like, lesson in how to read. Or pronounce Russian lettering. Boop. I'm gonna to use this as the top for me. Mm hmm. Mm. You can't go wrong with chocolate and shortbread. This might be a 10 for me. Um, I, well, you know what? Let's do a 10 because if I have another 10, awesome. But don't we normally just have one that's a 10? No. Um, I think we've had two one time. 
This is okay. This is a 10. I agree. Um, it's very good. The flavors mesh well. Mm -hmm. It's not too overpowering one mm -hmm. way or the other. I think it's really good. It's, it's got a nice, uh, fluffy, buttery cookie and is very good. You keep mm -hmm. on trucking. Keep on trucking. Mm -hmm. That was really good. <clears throat> Next is the strawberry popcorn, which is popcorn with strawberry coating. This picture's a little scary. <laughs> yes, it's got a strange little demon man. Oh no. It's weird though. Ooh. It's like candy coated. Oh my goodness. Mm hmm That smell reminds me of Captain Crunch. Yes. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna grab a, like four pieces. Yes. Yeah, right. I'm a little scared now. Like <laughs> um here we go. Boop. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. All right. So Ten. Yeah. It's amazing. Here's what it I don't know if you can see, but here's what it looks like on the inside. It's literally popcorn that has strawberries. Mmm. That's so good. Want some more. Okay. Put it away before we eat it all. Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm being more conscious of not saying that as much. Do we want to try a chocolate bar right now? We can bypass it if you What's want. What's next? It's a cinnamon chocolate bar. It's technically next, but our next let's, thing... Let's do this one and then go back to that one, because I need something that's <clears> not sweet. Mushroom croutons. Mushroom flavored crackers. This is the same brand, I think, as the other things. Uh, <clears throat> the ones that got the nines earlier? No. This brand yeah, shows up a lot food. because we have it again later. Okay. Yeah, mm, yeah right there's here. There's popcorn kernels, though. Huh. Are these... Wait a minute. I opened up the wrong one. That's the uh, pickled cucumber. Yes. This is what we're looking for. <laughs> I was like, why does it smell like mushrooms? This smell like pickles. 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 It's funny that they call them pickled cucumber. <laughs> I mean, that's just pickles. <laughs> this has no no uh, smell to it at all. They look interesting. They look like uh, like eyes. <laughs> Ready? Yes. Hmm. Okay. Whoa, salty. Mm -hmm. These actually really do taste like mm -hmm. mushrooms. Mm -hmm. They do. And are very good. Yeah, but they're not my favorite. A seven? I'm going to say six. Okay. As I have another one that, that I said wasn't any good. <laughs> oh no! I jumped the shark. Oopsie. That's okay. We're going to go back to that one right now. Okay, cool. You're doing a little way? time out of order. It's uh, mm. the cinnamon. This is this milk chocolate bar with cinnamon. Mm. Uh, see if we get a golden ticket. Mm. <clears throat> I got a golden ticket. That's not true. Okay. This is really intricate. I. You have carving. longer arms than me. This is... Yeah, isn't that crazy? Yeah. Oh, it smells like Christmas. Okay. <laughs> Nine. Pardon me. Hmm? Nine? Really? That's really good. 
You're not feeling it? It's an eight. It is very good. Um, oh my, not my favorite mixture. It's a little um, spicy, if you will. It's like a, it's atomic. It's cinnamon spicy. It's like a uh, an atomic fireball, like not quite that strong. That has been super mellowed down, covered yeah. in chocolate. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Gives you a nice little cinnamony aftertaste, which is very nice. It's good. Uh, okay. It's very good. I I'm telling you, Russia it. is my favorite so I'm far. Screw this all up, Beery. Stop doing that. What are you doing? What's going on the list? And I just screwed the pooch. <laughs> What's next? Cocoa. Let's see. Red October Southern Nuts. Cocoa coated almond fondant. I don't see that. You want to oh. save it? It's right in front of me. We can save it. That doesn't look like it. Well, their box is different. It's the same brand there. So we're pretty close to being done. We actually. are. We've made decent time this time around. Okay. You want to bypass it? Let's let's do let's do these first. Okay. The pickled cucumber yes. corn balls. Corn corn balls. <laughs> Yes. yes, this is my jam. Oh, I'm so excited. Yes. That straight up tastes like pickles. Airy pickles. You know what? I'm not a pickle fan, but... Ten. Let's do a seven. These are good. A little bit of chocolate. Oh. On the other side. They get it? Maybe. I think we got it. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> it's okay. I want more. All right. I'll put them away. I'll leave them off. Yes, dear. Mm. Okay. Wait. You want to do the. Gummies and then the chocolate? Sure. I don't know that you wanted to end on a chocolate note. I do. I like to end. These are really weird. It says exotic. Marma exotic experience. These are raspberry, blueberry, and cream gummy candies. I bet they're going to be amazing. <clears throat> I think this is our... I think that this has been the best box yet. <coughs> Whoa. It's like actually soft gummy. Yeah. Full of juice? I don't know. We're gonna find out. It it really is like you can. It feels like a gusher. Yeah. Boop. <laughs> that is. Amazing. It tastes like Hall's cough drops at the very beginning. It does. I'm <laughs> that. Wow. But it's got like a gummy. It's like a jelly juiciness in the middle. This is good. Seriously. Mm, that one's better. Ah, so good. I'm not really one for tart in this like this, but these are nine. Seven. Seven for you. You want a little more lenient than you. Those are really good. Mm-hmm. Okay, we have one more, uh, quote, big item, unquote, and then we get into the candies, the little little candies. And then trivia. And then a little trivia, indeed. How are we doing on time? We are just shy of 30 minutes right now. That's awesome. This is our shortest. We're liking all of them. <clears throat> We're not doing oh, sorry. quite as much analysis this time. Either, the cocoa-coated almond Who does that? fondant. Chocolatey goodness. There's not really too much analysis that has to be done because it's so delicious. Seriously. That's, that's fair. Oh my. Oh my goodness. So, this is what it looks like. It looks a little bit like Brazilian nuts. <clears throat> um, except it's 
and uh, it was just lightly coated chocolatey deliciousness. Is this hard? Like a hard <coughs> candy? I don't know. We're going to find out. Fondant's usually soft. I guess we'll see. Hmm. Ten. Mm. So the outerness is super bitter. It's very bitter. It has a uh, kind of a harder outer shell, but not crunchy. It's just hard not to bite crunchy. Into. It's just like a sort of thicker, harder chocolate, more brittle chocolate. Mm. And then the middle is full of uh, almond fondant, which is a kind of cream. Mm. <coughs> I will say it's very rich. It's a ten, right? Yes. I would agree, 100% okay. on that. Okay, you want to cleanse it before we do our candy? Ooh, yes, I do. And I'm doing the onion. Okay. Mm. Right. Melanie kind of tested this. I normally hate cheesy boots. Mm-hmm. I don't like them. This, the texture is all wrong. He hates me. them. But those... Are so good. <clears throat> okay. By far, this is my favorite box. The good reels. job, Universal Yums. Excellent job. So, a wheels. Now we have one, two, three, four. No. Uh -oh. We have four small candies. We're going to start at the top with Caramel Dreams. Oh. Wait, which one is? Oh, these. Oh, listen to this description. This is going to be amazing. Is it this? Caramel with lemon fondant and jam. That's weird. Oh, I'm so excited. <clears throat> hmm. It is Meoma Mekta. I take longer than me. Can I go ahead and do mine? Boop. Boop. Mm. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so, it presumes itself when you first open it up to be like a hard candy. It's not. But once you kind of soften it up a little, it's, it's almost immediately chew, chewable. And it is really good. Mmm. That's a seven. On candy, it's seven. Yeah. I agree. Really good. Would eat again. Yeah, definitely. Forest Fairy Honey Peanut Delight. Chocolate covered honey and peanut candy. Okay. We can share this. Maybe. We'll see. <clears throat> I've been trying to. It might be too hard to share. Well, you can take the first. Okay, let me take the first. Oh. It's like a Tootsie Roll. It is. Hmm. Is it in that? Is it soft like that? Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was quite a face, my dear. Do you think? Mm. This is delicious. It sounds decent. It's very good. Um, that. It has a very present honey taste. Which Nine. Is which is very nice. I would agree with that 100%. percent we go 9 with that. Which is better than the Caramel Dream. Mm. Very rich. Mm -hmm. And delicious. Mm -hmm. So good. Ugh. What's next? Juicy Light Peach and Apricot Jellies. Chocolate Covered Fruit Jelly Candy. Uh, a lot of food. I'm very excited. Oh. Juicy light. Okay. It's like a little chocolate uh, square doodad. Yeah. I'm feeling this is going to be a 10. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> Are 
you okay? <laughs> I might cry. That's so good. <laughs> you didn't even ask me. It's a 10 for you, isn't it? <laughs> even ask. He just wrote down 10. <laughs> I, know, I know you, dearie. I, I know your assessment of things. <laughs> when I'm quiet, I love it, right? Mm. We, need, we need to split those in half. And you can take half. And I, can take the other half. I don't know about all that. No, I'm just kidding. Otherwise, I'm just going to eat them all. <laughs> wow. See, by far. I would love Best to get box. like a bag of those light. We might have to do that. Uh, I don't know how much that is, but <clears throat> the final thing is called Swan Souffle, chocolate covered souffle with soft toffee. Well, there's a blue one. There's two blue ones and two brown ones. I don't know. You do the blue. I'll do the brown. <clears throat> okay. Let's see if there's a Is visual there difference. Let's see if there's a visual difference. Probably part. not. Yeah, okay. So they look like just regular little truffles. Ooh. You're going to like this one too, I think. Mmm. So, little candies. Mmm. I think it's better the more you chew it. Okay. Amazing flavor. Amazing. Not my jam on the texture. Yeah, it's a weird. <clears throat> it's it's um. It's like a tofu texture. Yeah, it's kind of like a, a marshmallowy. It's it's weird because you taste the toffee. But like, it's not marshmallow. It's it's light marshmallowy and how your teeth hit it. <clears throat> but it's harder. Not harder, but more dense. It reminds me of that that weird, like, gooey cake thing that we had mm -hmm. from the other box that came in, like, a, the, the Was it the Thailand or Thailand? It might, I don't remember which one. I, remember. I think it was the last one. That was Thailand. What? We have oh. it up there still. Yeah, it was Thailand. We have the book up there. <laughs> um, it didn't last long. It was like a mm. banana mango thing. It was really good. But the texture... I agree. The texture, it throws me off a little because toffee mm -hmm. has a specific texture that we're like used to having. Yeah. And when you get the toffee flavor with the non-toffee texture, it just throws off a little. Um, <clears throat> again, it's amazing. It tastes really good. The, I didn't hate the texture. Um, I don't think it is. It's not as good as the uh, peach and apricot jellies. Not by a long shot. My favorite out of those was this, though. Instead really? Of, yeah. But that's okay. I will do an eight on that one. Okay. I agree. Now we have, my goodness, <coughs> uh, one, two, three, four. We have four four treats that are that we both scored tens on. No, I only have three. I only have yeah three. Four. You gave it. We both have tens on this one. Ten, ten. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Boop. Boop. Okay. So what were they? <clears throat> so it was the it was the these cookies. Which the, are the, the like shortbread chocolate cookies. These. Yeah. Yeah. It was one of was them. the strawberry popcorn. It was the chocolate, the, the almond uh, nougat things, and it was the uh, peach and apricot jelly chocolate candies. Oh, so good. This was a really good box. <clears throat> We're doing some quick trivia. Yeah. Let's see. Spooky superstitions. Okay. I'm going to do the questions at the front after you do this. Okay. Halloween is right around the corner. By the way, if you don't like this part, you can just yeah. stop watching or what have you. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know if there's something you want us to do on this. I mean, 
we can do more than just universal yums uh, yeah. and other kinds of things. So, Let us know. Uh, maybe we do like a cooking show. I don't know. Yeah. Be, that would be kind of neat. Yeah. <clears throat> Teach you and if make. you have ideas of any other monthly subscriptions that we should try out since we're adventurous in that aspect, mm -hmm. let us know. The beef jerky one. Mm -mm. That'd be <clears throat> all of you. Halloween is right around the corner. In the U.S., isn't the only country that holds crazy superstitions. Russia has them, too. Passed down from generation to generation, these unique beliefs and traditions are followed by many locals, almost instinctively. Whether you're superstitious or not, this month might be the best time to start following their lead. You never know what traditions that spooky spirits follow. <laughs> <coughs> Who knows? Stepping over someone. If someone is lounging with their legs up blocking your way, Avoid the urge to step over them. Why? Russians believe stepping over another person, especially children, will cause them to stop growing. <laughs> Yikes! Fortunately, how interesting. The curse can be lifted by stepping back over them in the opposite direction and asking them to put their feet down. <laughs> I have heard that before. I haven't. That's, but not. I, I, I've never been to Russia. It's so obviously not there. <clears throat> There's a fly in here. It's aggravating. Mm -hmm. Returning. For forgotten items. Russia isn't a place for the forgetful. Returning home for, for forgotten things is a bad omen in Russian culture. If locals forget something at home, they'll even go as far as asking neighbors to retrieve the item for them. But if returning is absolutely necessary, one must look in the mirror before leaving again, or else the journey will be cursed. How neat. I wonder if most <clears throat> have a mirror by their front door. That's quite possible. It's also um, an important thing to check to make sure you're not a vampire. <laughs> <clears throat> Dreaming about spiders. Oh. oh In Russia, on. there are countless superstitions about spiders. If you dream of squashing one, it means you're going to lose money or something else important to you. If a spider drops onto a table, it means your family has made a new enemy. On the other hand, if you see a creepy crawler descending from the ceiling, should expect sudden good news, and if it drops onto your head, you'll receive a present. <laughs> I don't want a present if it involves a spider falling on my head. It's dreams. Wait, yeah, it's it, if you dream about that. Oh, uh, yeah. still. Yeah, it's a little creepy crawling. That would wake you up, and you'd slap me across the face or something. <laughs> Why didn't you kill the spider? No, I'm just <clears throat> no, I've done stuff like that before. <laughs> <laughs> Shaking <laughs> hands across the doorway. What is it? Shaking? Oh, like, okay, yeah. got it. Expecting guests when they arrive, be sure not to greet them in the doorway. According <clears throat> to ancient Russian folklore, that threshold is where the house spirit lives. So breaking this gap with your body is thought to disturb the spirit and bring extreme bad luck. Instead, walk outside to get your guests or wait until they're all the way inside before shaking hands or embracing. How neat. I That's think, interesting. I think I do that instinctively anyway because the door, I'm kind of a bigger guy and like the doorway is not very yeah. uh, spacious. Giving an even number of flowers. Oh. Headed on a date, you might want to rethink the dozen roses. While giving flowers is customary in Russia, bouquets for festive occasions should only contain an odd number of blooms. Even numbers are believed to bring misfortune or death, as they're directly Ooh. as they're I'm sorry, as they're strictly reserved for funerals. And think twice about sunflowers. Yellow blossoms symbolize a future breakup. <clears throat> what do yellow roses mean? Yellow remember. roses is friendship. Okay, good. Well, fair enough. That's interesting. It is. Mm. Yeah. And there's a maze. Mm -hmm. and then, oh, sorry, dear. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, you're good. Biome, sweet biome. Uh, so that's like where you can choose, pick the animal that fits the biome. There are six critters and three biomes. Uh, the answer is in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Not really super relevant or beneficial. <laughs> okay. Six trivia questions. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, hey, I've never noticed this before. In the little, in the bottom corner, where the green is, in the first, I, yeah, I've never noticed it. Tunes, before you get snacking, pop on our catchy Russian playlist. Is it universal? Oh, that's cool. We're going to do that next time, if, if there's one for the next country. In the background. We'll see. Because that, that, that stuff might be copyrighted. Oh, that's true. We'll see. We don't we don't want to have to do no. that. No. Okay, so, <clears throat> number one. <laughs> Russia is roughly the same size as Africa, Amazon rainforest, mm -hmm. Pluto, or Texas. <laughs> Africa? Mm -hmm. is, is that's your answer? Yeah. You're wrong. Really? It's roughly the same size as Pluto. Yeah, but Russia is the largest country in the world, covering a massive span of 6.6 .6 million square miles. Wow. Roughly the same size as the surface area of Pluto. Cool. If that doesn't paint a good enough picture for you. Get this. If every human on Earth moved to Russia, each would have over half an acre of personal land. Now, that's a <laughs> whole lot of space. It is. Uh, to be That's fair, really neat. a lot of Russia is uninhabitable or very close to it. No, yeah, that's true. Um, but yeah. I will say this, they do not bless the rainstone in Pluto. It's just in Africa. I bless the rain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number two. Which unique sport is played in Russia? Is it underwater chess? Snow soccer? Helicopter golf or bicycle hockey? I kind of like that underwater chess, but I like it's that really too. cold. <clears throat> yeah, it is cold. I'm going to go with bicycle hockey. What are options again? Underwater chess, snow soccer, helicopter golf, and bicycle uh, hockey. Snow soccer. Snow soccer? It's helicopter golf. The idea is similar to, to traditional golf, oh, except for the giant club, three-foot ball, course made of snow, and a helicopter. The rules of the game, players must drive a helicopter 12 feet above the ground and use an oversized 22-pound club to guide the ball down a snowy slope to the finish line. Sounds simple enough, right? Hmm. That, so there's not like a hole. <coughs> you just have to get it down to wherever the, the, the crossing line is. Is that her Hermitage? Her hermitage. Hermitage. I would say Hermitage. Hermitage. The Hermitage Museum's precious artworks are guarded by house cats, <laughs> volunteer art students, armed mannequins, <coughs> or infrared lasers. I really like house cats. I'm going to say house cats just because. I'm going to say infrared lasers. It's probably wrong. House cats! It is house cats. Domestic cats have been prowling the hermitage mm -hmm. since the 18th century, protecting its priceless works from of, of art from rats and mice. Oh, cool. The museum currently employs 74 <laughs> furry guardians. Nice. And the job comes with perks, a place to stay in the museum's basement, delicious meals from a special kitten, not to mention endless mouse snacks, and, <laughs> <laughs> and even their very own passport with a photo. It's the perfect life. Wow. <clears throat> That's interesting. Wow. All right, number four. Russians enjoy eating their pancakes with cream cheese and pickles. That actually sounds pretty good. Sour cream and caviar. Ooh, I'm not over fond of caviar. Yogurt and lemon. Or mayonnaise and sardines. It has to be mayonnaise and sardines. I would agree. It's, it's, it's either that or cream cheese and pickles. Okay. Sour cream and caviar. Oh. Forget the syrup. Forget the syrup. Syrup. In Russia, they take syrup. pancakes to a whole new level. They're thin, crepe-like pancakes called blinis. Blinis? Uh, Leanies sure. are traditionally chopped with cool sour cream and a scoop of fresh caviar. But the popular street snack can also be stuffed with savory combos like ham and cheese or smoked salmon and dill. Mm. That would be yours. We <clears throat> we have done savory pancakes and they're phenomenal. Yes, we have. They're amazing. Um, they're I I like them better than sweet pancakes. Mm -hmm. Like put onion and cheese and either ham or bacon. Ham or bacon. 
and green onions. We, we do either green onions or regular onion cinnamon. They're delicious. A restaurant in Moscow is staffed entirely by, huh, twins, grandmothers, redheads, or robots? Mm. I'm going to have to say robots. I'm going to say redheads. Twins. No, oh, gosh. We Seeing, are bad at this. <laughs> Seeing double. Don't blame the vodka. <laughs> <laughs> at, the at the Twin Stars Diner in Moscow, identical twin siblings wearing identical outfits wait the table and serve the drinks. The restaurant's owner, Alex uh, Alexei, Alexei, Alexei. Khodorkovsky, says he was inspired by the 1963 Soviet film Kingdom of Crooked Mirrors, where a girl peers into a mirror and sees a twin of herself in an alternate reality. How neat. Now, I, <clears throat> you, know, you can go there and you are wasted on vodka. Having two of the same people, like two of the same looking people, would be very confusing. <laughs> yes, it would be. <laughs> All right, last one. In Russia, it's considered lucky to eat your first dollar bill, huh. gum on your shoe. Gross. Bus tickets, uh, moldy bread. Your first dollar bill? I'm going to say moldy bread because... Mm, That's mm. crazy. Lucky to I eat. I am going to say, and this is super gross, put the gum on your shoe. Bus tickets. <gasps> we are so bad at this trip. In Russia, <laughs> bus, tram, and train tickets are all printed <clears throat> with unique six-digit numbers. According to tradition, if the sum of the first three numbers equals the sum of the last three numbers, then the ticket is considered lucky. And oh. you must eat it to absorb the luck. Felix Felicis. About one in every 18 tickets is lucky, so locals can often be seen tearing them into tiny chewable pieces, softening them in water, and even infusing them in their tea. <laughs> That's very interesting. That's gross. Very interesting. Okay, cool. I think we're done. I think we are. Okay, seriously, Universal Yums, best box so far. So far. Delightful. Really, really, really enjoyed Russian. Yes. Highest scores to date. And yes. nothing, this is the first time, I think, that nothing has been gross, gross yeah. which is delightful. Yes, um, very good. We love you guys. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Mm -hmm. uh, and we will do another one of these next, next month. month. <laughs>